In this example, we're given a function f of x and it's graphed on the right. Here's my function. And we need to find the following six things for our graph. So remember, f of x is the same as the y value. So in part A, we have to find the value of the function f at negative 4. Notice the x is being replaced by negative 4. So we know that x equals negative 4. And f of negative 4 is the y value of the point on the graph when x equals negative 4. So let's find x equals negative 4. Start at the origin and go 4 to the left. Here's x equals negative 4. Is there a y value for that x value on the graph? Yeah, this is the point on the graph where x equals negative 4. And what is its y value? It's this number here. Now remember on this graph, we're only labeling in units of 2. So this would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. So the y value for this point is 1. So the value of the function at negative 4 is equal to 1. Part B, we know that x equals positive 4. Find the point on the graph where x equals positive 4. So start at the origin, 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. Is there a point on the graph? Yes, right here. And what is its y value? Negative 2. So f of positive 4 is negative 2. Moving along, what is f of 7? What happens when x equals 7? Well, here's 7, halfway between 6 and 8. So here's 7. And what's the point on the graph? It's right there. And what is its y value? This is 2, this is 4, so that is 3. So f of 7 equals 3. Now we need to find the domain. Remember, the domain comes from the x values of the points on the graph. And we always read the domain going from left to right. And there are several different ways of doing this. I like to take a straight edge and bring it in from the left. And now when I first get to my graph paper, is there a graph right here? No, there are no points on the graph, so I don't want these x values. I move along, and this is the first point I get to on my graph. What's its x value? Halfway between negative 6 and negative 8, so it is negative 7. Now, is there a point when x equals negative 7? No, it's an open circle. I do not include it, which means I have to use a parenthesis. If it was a solid dot, I would include it. I'd use a square bracket. So my domain starts at negative 7, comma, and where does it go to? Well, I keep moving from left to right. I still have a graph, so I still have domain. There are still points on the graph. The graph keeps going, but it gets to this point here and stops. Notice if I go a little bit further than that point, is there a graph here? No. The largest x value I get to is right here because of this point, and its x value is 9. So my graph, my sorry, my domain goes to 9. Since there is a point at x equals 9, I use square brackets. So there is the domain of this function. So now we need to work on the range. So looking at the range, remember the range comes from the y values. And to read the range, you always start at the bottom of the graph and you work your way up to the top of the graph. So I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to have a ruler and it's going to come in from the bottom. Is there a graph right here? No, there's no graph. So I keep moving my ruler going up. And this is the first point I get to on the graph right here. And there's a point here. 
So that has to be included in my range. And what's its y value? Halfway between negative 2 and negative 4 is negative 3. So my range starts at negative 3, but since there is a point when y equals negative 3, I use a square bracket, comma, and then how far does my range go? Well, you move the graph, I mean, move the ruler going up, still have a graph, still have a graph, still have a graph. That's the biggest point in the y direction I get to. So what is its y value? It's halfway between 6 and 8, so it's 7. And there's a solid dot, so I'm going to include it. So my range is going to stop at 7 with a square bracket on it. So there is the range of this function. So I got rid of my ruler, and now the last part we have to do is for what value of x is f of x equal to 5? Remember, f of x equals the y value. It's giving you the y value for the point, and it's saying find the x value when y equals 5. So I have to look on the graph when y equals 5 is up here. So this is my y equals 5 value. Is there a point on the graph where y equals 5? Yes. And what is its x value? 8. So the answer to part f is x equals 8. Because when x equals 8 on this graph, y equals 5.